Raging Cajuns have already converted one third down on this opening drive. Three man rush. They push the pocket and almost get to Lewis. Dancing up the sideline and out of bounds. They finally force him out behind the line of scrimmage. I mean, last time you were working in college football, Notre Dame wasn't in a conference. Oh, Lewis going to roll, and he gets dropped from behind, and another sack for Iowa State, their second of the game. Latrell Bankston comes up with it, a loss of four. Like the play, normally it's a three-man rush. See, same here, playing the run, getting off the block extremely well. Sunbelt Conference Coach of the Year, despite the fact that Eli Drinkwitz, now Missouri, Won the title at app. Here's Regus, and he takes it inside the 10. And Cajun's looking at a first and goal. Did you hit the guy? Did you get it? He said, no, nah, it wasn't a storybook ending. I missed and then had to go to surgery. Here's Brees Hall. First down run for the Cyclones, and he's barreling over dudes. Right over the top of Trahan for a gain of 18. And I'm thinking it was pass. Easy run right. Line. Nwangu in the backfield now. Couple of tight ends in front of him. And he yeah. follows Allen into the end zone. Touchdown, <laughs> Iowa State, Kane Nwangu. And a play later, Nwangu with his first career touchdown. Eddie Ogamba to kick it off for Iowa State. Chris Smith, Eli Mitchell back. Smith, world-class speed, and he finds a seam uh -oh. and a stiff arm. He's got the 50-yard line in a foot race. He is gone. 95-yard touchdown return for Chris Smith. Under the notes I have for Chris Smith, speed back. Are celebrating on the Raging Cajun sideline and a party now Lafayette where they know how to party. They've tied it up on the road thanks to the speed of Chris Smith and a 95 yard kickoff return. Play action. Purdy over the middle. Great grab, and that goes for a first down. That's Chase Allen, the senior from Nixon, Missouri. Seven targets, so even if there's coverage there, he believes his guy can body off the defender. Coverage isn't bad, but he gets the ball. And that's Noah Jurgensen who took over for downing at left guard. Second down, 19. Plenty of room for Shaw. Makes a first man miss. And they're looking at a much more manageable third down now out of after Podesclo came up with a stop, pick up a 15. Hole right in the defense, turns and stops and waits for the throw. Oh, it's a touchdown. And now Hall bounces to the outside. Touchdown, Iowa State from 11 yards out. A little bit, just getting the corner here. Pin, great job by Joey Ramos coming off the initial block, going to the second level. I don't have time to Google that. You're going to have to tell <laughs> Brandon me. Stokely with the Ravens in 2000. That's a pretty good combination. Delholm and Stokely. And that is a catch for 16 yards. Boy, Devon by Devin Paul. Just got the one foot down. All you need in college again. Just gets that left foot down. Great job. Nice pass up high so his receiver could go get it. On second and three, one timeout left. They'll run it, and it turns into a first down. A little bit more, Elijah Mitchell. Clock will stop with six after a gain of 11. And the field goal is good. Like the last drive of Iowa State, the way went, they went down the field and scored, let's see if they can pick it up from that point. We've already seen one kickoff return for a score in this game and a solid return out past the 30 yard line for no longer a lot of work in the offseason that you get they weren't able to get this year on third and ten Purdy pressured no oh. steps away from both of them and he's able to pick up a first down and then tax on a couple more Cole Kublik you talked with Billy Napier at the half barely heard that whistle that was live in the last play it leaves second and 18. Purdy wanted the flat. And what a grab on a leaping catch over 
Pedest blow. It's Xavier Hutchinson who has a couple of drops today, but that one hauled in for 13. Going to get it, or nobody was going to get it, knowing his guy is 6'3. That's where you say, okay, there's the advantage. See if they bring pressure. Lewis on third and 12. Four-man front this time. Lewis flush from the pocket, and they take him down. And Iowa State sacked their third of the day. It was Will McDonald with his second. Great four-man rush. Look at outside to the right, going through the tackle, going through the back, and just chases him down. I mean, a great play, just a, nothing fancy, just a four-man rush. Pressure coming up the middle. Purdy juggling incomplete and taken away. Oh, absolutely taken away. They, Cajuns, <laughs> Ashland, Washington just stole it from Xavier Hutchinson. Keeping the ball alive and just taking it right out of the arms of the receiver. Up in the air, in the arms, it's a fight for it. And Washington wins that fight. There's some well covered. These receivers for Iowa State have been well covered. They're bigger, so a lot of times you think they can wall off, but the coverage. Purdy, forced from the pocket right, and never got rid of the football, taken down from behind by Farad Gardner. Step here at all. He starts to slide down. Gardner comes on the outside, he tries to recover. Iowa State suffocated the Raging Cajuns ground game in the first half. A team that was sixth in the country in rushing last year. Deep ball coming from Lewis, behind coverage, caught! First down and more Cajuns, Peter LeBlanc! Takes it all the way for a 78 yard score. <laughs> 25 road win. Oh, he has been itching all offseason to do this more and do it better. And you don't do it much better than that. Again, the play action help if it freezes just for that split second. The block just absolutely running by the defender there. DJ Miller. That had nothing to do as far as that part of it with the play action. There, Guerrero. Oh, boy. To the 30. To the 40. He's to midfield and in a sprint. And he takes it inside the 30. And it's a second kick return for a score for the Raging Cajuns today. And they're raging in Acadiana. Absolutely incredible. Nice move, nice lanes that he has here. Unfortunately, Iowa State just not able to make the plays. Gotta, gotta cover your angles there. The defense really been playing well against a, what is a high-powered record-setting offense for Iowa State last year. And there's your proof. More return yards and total offensive yards. Purdy. Hooks up with Xavier Hutchinson for Iowa State first down. Purdy over the middle and broken up at the last second. Cole, what did you learn about what the Raging Cajuns wanted to do in the secondary today? I think they see a ton of man coverage week in and week out in the Big 12. We think we're athletic enough, fast enough, quick enough. Purdy. Wow. Incomplete. Chase Allen, the intended receiver. Louisiana turns him over on downs for the second time this game. Percy Butler in the middle of it again. They have been absent. Now, I don't, I don't think he touched it, but certainly raking. They'll run it. Whoa. And how about running for the first down? Elijah Mitchell. Pickup of 20. Game. You've been stymied the entire game. Nothing fancy here. Zone blocking up. Able to get up to the second level. Took it to Ohio State. I mean, Iowa State. They're going to keep the offense on the field on fourth down. Oh, and they will punch it in. Regis with the touchdown. Two yard plunge. Build our confidence throughout the game and then hopefully find a way to get a win.
They'll run it to close the clock, and for the first time in school history, the Raging Cajuns notch a road win against a ranked opponent. Billy this Napier's team of- remains undefeated when leading in the fourth quarter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.